Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 1 of Direwolf20's Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles Let's Play series. Uh, checking out a new mod pack today. Gonna start a new series here on Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles. A pack that doesn't look like it's that new, but a lot of people have been recommending I check it out lately. It's a very large pack. Um, it features a lot of exploration and adventure mods. It features a lot of magic mods and a lot of tech mods. Um, there's, there, it looks like a really big mod pack, honestly. Uh, and there's a ton of stuff to do. It's a quest-based pack, but it, the quests are really only there to guide you through uh, some of the things you can do. But it's totally open-ended um, and, and looks really cool. Uh, so let's check it out. What do you say? I'm, I'm pretty excited about this one because it looks like it has a little bit of everything. Questing, adventuring, magic, tech, it's all there, right? So I'm really interested to see how this thing looks up and uh, how it works out. So you can see I have a test world because uh, I kind of always like to do a little test world before I start a new Let's Play series to figure out what's up. Uh, but we're going to do a new world name called Let's Play World. And we're going to make the game world uh, mode survival. Uh, more world options, we'll call it DW20LP. Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles. Does that sound cool? So DW20 and then capital LPDDSS. If you guys want to have a the same world seat as me, and we'll uh, we'll do the thing. Does that sound cool? All right, let's uh, press the button. So a lot of mods in this pack, um, but being dire, I already added one. <laughs> uh, building gadgets wasn't in there, so I had to add it. Right, like that's it's only fair. We had to throw building gadgets into the pack. So totally checking out the pack here, added building gadgets to it because, like I said, wanted to get that one in there and very interested to see uh, what we've got going on. So um, we're going to just start off and see what happens, right? Cool. So I see we get a lot of books here. Oh, my goodness. Look at all these books, all the things that were happening here. Oh, there's ring slots. That's cool. Look at that. Oh, nice. They gave us an Akashic Tome. That's cool. And look, we've got all our manuals in there. Sweet. Integrated Dynamics is in the pack. Tinker's Construct, the One Probe Forestry, Astral Sorcery Dome. Oh, cool. Look at that. I didn't know Astral Sorcery integrated. That's neat. That's cool. Very cool. All right. Not too worried about it because we can always get more. Oh, look, there's uh, some to-do list items up here. Energy Cell Basic and Artisan's Iron Hammer from Artisan Work Tables. Cool. Looks like we got some stuff to do. Vial of Shielding. Not too bad. That's definitely indicative of the fact that we might be doing some uh, some exploration. What's going on there? Whoa. That looks like a... Is that a griffin? That's cool. All right. Not a bad start to a pack, right? Hey, look, there's another one. Sweet. Not a bad start to a pack at all. What's that little dude? Hi, little person. Please don't be evil. I don't think he's evil. He's planting trees. People who plant trees generally aren't evil, right? Grove Spite. Okay, Primitive Mobs, Grove Sprite. That's cool. You know what I'm noticing? I'm not picking up items, they're going straight into my inventory. Check this out, from here, look, it doesn't drop. It just, boop, right into my inventory. That's neat. I wonder what mod's doing that. Oh, he talks. What's up, little dude? Like I said, he planted a tree, so he can't be, like, too evil, right? Yeah, dude, I'm with you. Just gonna get a few pieces of wood here. I like this uh, right into the inventory thing. What's this? A basic backpack. Cool. Uh, remove the content before you upgrade your backpack, every otherwise everything is lost. Shift B to equip and B to open. Neat. Okay, cool. Look at that. I guess these are some kind of upgrade slots. Okay, cool. And then Shift B to unequip. Nice. That's cool. I'm liking this mod pack already. There's, uh, there's neat stuff in here that I haven't seen before. That's always a good sign. It's nice when you like, hey, I haven't really played with these mods. I'm sure we're going to see some familiars, right? Like, I know Astral Sorcery is in here. I know Blood Magic is in here, right? So there's definitely going to be some familiar mods. Golden Raspberry Leaves. Neat. I'm not I'm not going to mess with those too much because... What do we get here? Oh, Camouflage Die. Primitive Mobs. All right. Let's get, like, to the top of some kind of hell. Did I spawn right next to an Astral Sorcery Temple? Yeah, I did. What's up, Good Seed? That is super cool. And a bunch of marble right here, is that what this is? Oh, andesite, andesite and slate. Okay, I thought that was a bunch of marble, but still, look at that awesome astral sorcery temple. That's, that's, that's cool. I'll take that, absolutely. What's up, Highland Bull, Natura, Animania, sweet. Oh, that's a weird, that's a weird lava spawn. 
Oh, what is this? There's like mag. Okay, yeah, that's not normal. Liquid liquid magma from. Okay, cool. Is that normally called liquid magma? I thought they were. I, I didn't think they were called that. Um. So yeah, there's quests. So that's a thing. Hey, I have an axe. <laughs> cool. I just realized that I've been chopping wood with my hand when I have literally an axe in my inventory. That's gonna be in the comments. That's literally gonna be in the comments. That's 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 gonna be fun. That's I, I see. At the very least, what I'll say is, you know, you get authentic dire because I think I think a, a normal YouTuber would be like, oh wait, that's a pretty dumb mistake. I should edit that out and re-record the first set. Nope, dire doesn't play that way. You guys get to watch my derps and enjoy them, or not, depending depending. Is that a oh olive leaves? Okay, that looked like a barber tree. Oh man, look at that. Is that some kind of biome over there? Neat. All right, let's check out this book. Quests. Whoa, that's a lot of quests. Holy cow, that's a lot of quests. So let's take a look. Uh, there's the main quest line. Wow, that's a lot of quests. Yeah, dude. I know. I agree. Whatever you just said, I agree with you. You're a pretty cool dude. Can I right click you or something? I don't want to attack you, but you know. Um, a lot of quests. Holy cow, that's a lot of quests. Uh, let's see. So we go through some stuff. That's cool. Kitchen workshop. Ores, alloys, and smelteries. Uh, that looks act actually additions-ish. Basic plates. So white magic, black magic, mystical agriculture's in here. Okay, cool. Neat. So it looks like there's a main quest line that eventually leads to some kind of rocket ships. So that's cool. I mean, the, the word space shuttle is in the name of the mod pack, so we had to assume that there was something. That looks like the Galactic Craft rocket ship, though. So we might be doing Galactic Craft as part of this, right? Um... Blacksmith's Workshop, Ores, Alloys, and Smelteries, Mystical Agriculture is Tier 1 and 2. And then there's two types of magic, White Magic and Black Magic. That's cool. Is that Equivalent Exchange? Or is that Blood Magic? No Equivalent Exchange. Um, Project Red is in here, so that's cool. Uh, Project Red Transportation. Is Logistics Pipes in here by chance? No. Refined Storage, though, I think is. Yes, Refined Storage. Um, and Applied Energistics. So you get to do whichever one you want, which is always cool. I kind of like the, the choose your own the choose your own storage mod thing. What is that ore looking like? What is that down there? I see some interesting ores that I want to go look at. I see some interesting lots of things. Sulfur ore. That's cool. Meteorite block. Tinker's alloying add-on. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here that I'm not familiar with. Andesite coal ore. Lignite block copper ore. Neat. Okay. That's pretty cool. Should we read the quest book a little bit and see what's up here? What am I doing? Why am I flying? Levitation. What made me levitate? Feather blossoms? Oh, that is cool! <laughs> Look at that, it's a flower that makes you levitate. I like that a lot. I need some of those. Can I pick those up? You think that's you think that's allowed? Nope. Alright, well maybe shears or something, so we'll have to figure that out. But that is kinda cool. Alright, not not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Should we look at the, should we actually like take a minute and look at the quest book, see what this See what we got going on here? So the main quest line, update quest database. Uh, we probably don't need to do that because we just we just installed the pack, so that's probably for when the pack updates. Welcome! Welcome to Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles. This quest book provides step-by-step -step instructions on how to use all the different mods, likely like that you learn quickly and efficiently. The difficulty determines the reward you get for completing a quest. The more difficult the quest, the better the reward, of course. In my mod pack, most recipes are changed in order to make you use every mod there is to get to your goal. It is, of course, not only for professional players, but also for rookies. Uh, there's a special reward system where each player automatically earns thermal expansion coins while questing. Use the coins to buy some stuff in the quest book shop, or use it later to create RF or FE power. Nice. So that's nifty. So acknowledge... Okay, cool. Akashic Tome. In your inventory, you'll find a book called the Akashic Tome. It can be combined with mods, documentation books. To add a book, simply combine the crafting table. You can have as many as you want, including duplicates. To morph the tome into another book's documentation that is already added to it, simply right-click and pick the one you want. I already set you up with some books. Today we learned. Cool. Okay. Uh, punching wood. Need oak wood logs. And some sticks. Cool. 
Oh, that recipe's not in there? Okay, that's fair. Oh, look at this. We get, we get, we get. Okay, cool. Good to know. Nice. And look, we got more wood for that. All right, crafting station. The old standby. Do the thing. Do the other thing. Uh, and the shovel. Yes. Look at this, completing quests like nobody's business. All right, and we get a sword for that, nice. Okay, so you, 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 and you is generally how I lay things out. And I'm pretty sure if we looked at this quest, it would tell us, hey, by the way, use that copper axe in your inventory. See, I'm not the only one who missed, who, who missed the obviousness of the copper axe because clearly other people needed to be told. All right, cool. So while I have this, can I do coal with, with, a, with a stone, with a wooden pick? I guess I can, good. Normally I go straight to cobble, right, of course, but, uh, yeah, that's cool. I'll do this. Look, there's some copper here. I might, I might try to get into a little bit of a cave area also, because, guess what? It's gonna be dark at some point. Dude, is this whole biomandesite? Like, what's going on here? I kinda wanted cobblestone. Does andesite or dictionary with cobblestone for, for pickaxe purposes? Because that would be cool. I have no idea. I've actually legit never tried to do something like this. But it would be neat if it worked. Oh, totally it does. All right, that works for me then. Getting an upgrade. That might have been a quest at some point, but you know. Oh, look at all these things we have to find. All right, let's collect some resources. Uh, let's see, is it getting dark out yet? Almost, almost. I would love to find a sheep if I, if I may. I don't wanna to wander too far from this astral area because I'm pretty excited that I found like a full-blown astral sorcery temple right near my spawn. So I kind of don't want to go too far. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Maybe I'll dig into another hill face and hopefully find some cobblestone. Wow, more andesite. Good times. I wonder if this whole ground is andesite. That would be interesting, right? I don't even know. I'm not familiar with underground biomes. Hey, chalk. Okay, cool. That's also not cobblestone, though. I don't know what chalk is. Chalk gravel. Neat. What's chalk used for? Oh. It's ore dictionary with smooth stone. Yeah, look at that. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, it's totally ore dictionary with smooth stone. Hey, look. Advanced crafting is a thing. Yeah, it's getting dark out, and uh, considering I know this to be an adventure-based mod pack, I'm a little bit afraid of being out late at night. So what I might do is just like head off into the side here. Am I in some kind of, what's my biome currently? Forest Hills biome. I'm hoping I'll find some sand and clay over here. Look, more andesite, haha. <laughs> I'm going to, like, hunker down for the night and maybe dig around a little bit, maybe get some of those basic resources that I talked about, and we'll be right back. Does that sound like a plan? All right. Hey, guys, we're back. Uh, I was mining uh, and did that thing you're never supposed to do, and that was dig straight down. Oh, rip. <laughs> you're my first grave. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I, to be fair, I was not expecting what happened. <laughs> Oh man, that was bad. Uh, I just decided to do a little bit of digging to kind of like figure out what this biome that I'm in, this underground biomes thing is all about. So we got a grave key. All right, that's cool. I like that. Yep, that, I like that one. I like that grave mod. That's a good one. That's a good one. So I think we were generally speaking over here-ish, right? Yes, this was my, my spot. Um, let's quick get a pickaxe. Now we have to remember that it's two wood per, per, per log, not just one, or not just four, right? So keeping that in mind. All right, let's see what I can come up with here. Yeah, I'm a ghost. Yeah, I'm a ghost. So let me have a quick, quick pickaxe. Never dig straight down. 
is the general advice that we give pretty much everybody. Uh, and I, I disobeyed that rule. So I wasn't that far down, though. So I didn't expect a like, big open mobs in the cave underneath me thing. Um, and it's a pretty far fall, too. So I was just like, hey, let's check this out. Hey, this is as far as I went. Okay, to be clear, this is as far as I went. And I'm like, oh, cool, iron, right? Look at that, iron right there. Okay, cool, that's neat, right? Got all excited about finding iron. And I'm like, yeah, I'll just, I'll just break that block. And, uh, and there, there she goes, right? Dire, dire to death is what happened. So we have to work our way down there and get that dude. What difficulty is this on, by the way? Difficulty, let's make it, let's make it hard. Yeah. We could do that, right? That shouldn't be too bad. Let's just do a little bit more. Because I don't know if I'm going to run into that dude again. Hey, what's that? What's that bluish kind of ore? Osmium. Okay, cool. I'm guessing that's an indication, probably. Hooray! Tomb disappears. Nice. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Looking good. Okay, cool. Uh, what do we got there? Uh, that is prosperity ore. That's neat. Okay. Sweet. Found something of a little underground cave here. That's cool. Bauxite. That's a scary sound. What is that? What is happening here? <laughs> I'm not familiar with anything. Oh, bad guys. Are you guys hearing this? I am already interested in this pack. I am already... Oh, look, sand and clay. I needed those for quests. Hooray. Let's just light up this underground nightmare. Right? Is this a thing in this pack? It is. All right, cool. I like the one with numbers on it, typically, but this will work. As long as we know where mobs can spawn, I'm happy. Now, of course, I've already used up all my coal. Because I'm a genius. Sweet. Hey, buddy. What's that? Charged Certus Quartz. Come on, Skelly. Come over here. It's probably because of the lava. Ow. That's right. That's right. I tricked you into walking into the lava. That was a tactic right there. Does that sound like a dragon of some kind? This is not a typical start to a dire pack, right? All right, so uh, I kind of would like some more coal so I can have some more torches, and that looks like coal. That's coal. Yes, good. What is this noise happening right here? What is that thing? That's a that's a scary noise. That's a, that's a thing. That's what that is. That is a thing right there. That is a thing right there. What is up? Is that what this pack is about? That scary noise? He's holding, is he holding a tree? I feel like he's holding a tree. That's right, skeleton. I got you. Holy cow, how much health does this dude have? What is happening right here? What is happening right here with all this health? How much health does this dude have? I know I put it on hard, but come on now. What do I got? Weakness? Is that what's going on? I can do this. He doesn't have a bow and arrow, so I got that going for me. Primitive mobs, huh? Dude, how much health did he have? Did you guys see how many times I hit him? Maybe it's because I had weakness from whatever he shot me with, but still. There were a lot of shots there. I survived that. That was amazing. Eaten, added, assisting hearts. Cool. All right. Neat, 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 neat. There's an invisible thing coming at me with a hoe. A golden hoe, but a hoe nonetheless. What is happening, and why am I not regenerating more health? Come on, health, let's go. Here I am, just trying to, you know, kill some ridiculously, <laughs> ridiculous looking monsters with a wooden sword. 
because that's the situation we find ourselves in right now. He doesn't look... Oh boy, that's... He absolutely swings a tree at me. Oh, he's just a troll, that's all. I deal with those all the time. Is he regenerating health? I feel like he is, right? Ow! Stop that. Stop, stop hitting me with trees. Got you. Alright. Hey, I got troll tusks. Cool. And, and, and the tree that he was hitting me with, apparently. Oh boy, another one of these dudes, huh? If I did that, that should be relatively safe, right? <laughs> this is a new start to a Darwell 20 Let's Play series, isn't it? What's up, bros? I got you. Galena ore, Inferium ore, but yeah, absolutely all andesite under here, which is interesting. An interestingly different approach to to an underground biome. I'm gonna have to like, I'm gonna have to legitimately like find cobblestone is what I'm gonna need to do. I'm also gonna have to figure out a way out of this cave that I'm in. I also found iron, which is yay. I'm all about some iron. Better swords, better picks. So I'm pretty sure that now what I should be able to do is turn some of you into this. Do this. Hey, cool, I got that golden hoe, that's nice. Yeah, do that there. And then can you be used for a furnace? You can. Okay. And uh, that'll be for smelting up some iron. I'm down with that plan, right? Uh, I would love to actually turn you into some charcoal, though. And I'm going to hope that there's there's actually additions in the pack, so technically there should be tiny charcoal. Yes? One would, one would hope for that to be true. Oh my goodness, it makes tiny charcoal from the oak wood. Oh my goodness, that is a thing. Oh my goodness, that is hilarious. Really, bro? Really? Really? That's how you want to play it? That's a thing. Smelts four items, though. Okay, that's not terrible. I'll take that. Smelts four items? Yeah, that's not too bad. I basically just... It just... It just halves the, uh... Okay. Just halves the, the fuel amount. It's not terrible, right? Yeah, I, I could I could live with that. I'm just gonna light this cave up a little bit and see what else I can find. Uh black quartz ore, that's cool. Some copper, some more galena, some more iron, which I will take. You know what's interesting is when you mine it, it turns into like regular stone-based iron ore. Hey, look, another one of those invisible things. I don't know what you are. It's a haunted tool. Hey, another haunted tool. Wow, you really hurt, dude. Dude, those things hurt. I should not be exploring this cave before I've got any kind of semblance of... of anything going on. But, on the other hand, I'm just... I'm just so interested in exploring this cave. Oh, boy. Was that creeper running at me? Did you see... Did he run at me? <laughs> <laughs> he literally ran at me. Did you see that? We've got running creepers in this pack. Okay. That's a thing that we just learned about. Luckily, I lit the area up pretty well down there. So what I should be able to do is get back down to that area. Yeah, that's where I died, isn't it? Way over there. That's okay. I should, I should not have a problem, right? Over here-ish should be roughly where that entrance to that cave area is, right? Yep, there it is. There's my quote-unquote base. You can call this a base, right? Is that fair? Is that a fair assessment to call this thing a base? Probably not, but you know. And then our our, 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 our death spot should be right down here. See? Easy peasy. 
not exploring too far. Did that creeper run at me, though? I feel like that creeper was running. That's what it feels like to me. Bauxite, black quartz, more coal. More coal would be most welcome. Can that guy get up here? I don't think he can. Ow. Not even a little bit of armor or weaponry that's reasonable. Right? Not even a little bit. Wow, he really hurt. Oh boy, there's more of them. I should not have gone down there. <laughs> Alright, corpse run off camera. Be right back. Well guys, the good news is there's lots of little plants on trees nearby here. So that's super cool. Uh, and I think I just completed my quest. Um, now now I'm, I'm calling this little cave that I've built up here. Quote unquote home base. Quote unquote home base. Right? A little bit of a stretch. But not entirely inaccurate either. Uh, so I should have an iron pick available to me now, assuming that's a thing in this. Of course it's not. Of course it's not a thing. <laughs> Why would I even think that that was a thing? Uh, ha ha. Choice reward. What do I want? Uh, the most power, overpowered item in the game, of course. Clay. Duh. Super OP. Uh, how about chests? Are chests a thing that I can have? Now here's a question, right? Well, I guess I can't really test that anymore, but if I can just have a chest... That would make life just that much easier. What, what, what? Did I miss something? Why did that go there? Okay, cool. Oh, that has venom on it too. So I don't know if I want to use that for attacking or chopping down trees, I don't even know. All right, let's put some stuff away. So you're gonna be like my all kinds of stuff chest. Chalk, right, that was some kind of smooth stone equivalent, right? All kinds of stuff chest, right? Um. So, uh, what's next questing-wise? Uh, a furnace and a stone hoe. So we kind of made a furnace already, but it didn't register apparently. So we'll just make another one, because that's easy peasy. And a stone hoe, just to complete the quest. Which absolutely should start farming, right? Absolutely should start farming. Uh, not even a question that I should start farming. Yep, you can go in there. Um, I guess I'll put all this stuff in here for now. I want to keep a hold on to my resources that I actually need at this moment, right? And andesite cobblestone doesn't sound like a terrible thing to have on hand either. Cool. All right. Neat, 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 neat. Quests complete. Oh, and I can get a chocolate bar or a copper coin. Ooh, that's a tough one. I think I'll go with the copper coin because food doesn't seem all that hard to come by. Um, so apparently in this quest book, there is, ooh, neat, shop rewards. Whoa, look at all this stuff. Cool. Saplings, huh? Neat. Supremium coal. Nice. Okay. Look at all this stuff. Ooh, random sheep, cow, chicken, rabbit. Nice. All right, cool. Wither skeleton skulls. Hmm. Interesting. I like it. Super cool. All right, that's neat. Good to know. Back to the main quest line, though. Uh, so protect your base. Wooden spikes, huh? Maybe. We'll think about that. Find Kirby. Help, I've been kidnapped. I'm in a chest in the middle of nowhere. Please help me. Well, according to ancient legends, Kirby is found in chests near the astral sorcery shrines. Find Kirby plushie in a dungeon chest. Okie dokie. That's hilarious. Oh, boy, it's nighttime. Uh, we're closing the door. That is awesome, though. Uh, AIOT, the all-in-one tool. It's a combination of a stone, axe, pickaxe, shovel, and sword. Uh, AIOT changed my early game life by Picklehead8521. That is a good quote. And we get a stone AIOT for a reward, too. Uh, I guess we could, we could whip one of those guys up, right? I don't see why not. Um, let's take... Oh, that's right, my pickaxe is broken. And I'm a genius. Yup, I know. Let's get a new pickaxe, for which we have literally exactly the amount of andesite cobble to make. Oh, that wasn't a choice reward. That was a both things? I'll take that, because I could use absolutely more food. 
You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear my head clearance. I like the, the magneting directly into the inventory thing. That is actually really quite nice because it means I don't have to worry about picking up items, which doesn't sound like a big tedious task, but more tedious than you would think, to be honest with you. So there's that cave, by the way, that I found. Really, really wanted a cobblestone thingy. What's this? Uninspected mineral. Rock hounding mod chemistry. That's cool. No idea what that mod's about. Look at all these new mods we're discovering in this pack. That is super cool. All right, now can I combine broken tools, you think? So I've got like three of these, right? So technically, uh, we're totally going to need an axe, and we're totally going to need a sword, right? Uh, no. So I'm going to need a new one of all these. Okay, so a new pickaxe and a new shovel, which means... See if I can sneak outside and get one tree chopped down before a creeper finds me. A creeper that apparently knows how to run. Works for me. Back into the hovel. Literally living in a hole in the ground. Probably one of Dyer's better houses. Alright, so you, to you, to you, to that and that, right? Cool. Then we just replace this dude, and we've got our AIO teeth. Nice. All right, cool. I'll take it. I'll take it. Now, what durability does this thing have? 524 compared to 131. That is a pretty nice durability boost, I gotta say, at least. Quest complete. And we get an extra one as a reward. Nice. All right, here's the deal. Probably wrapping up point for the episode. So what I'm gonna do between episodes is a little bit of digging just to... What is this? What is going on down here? Oh, you, you decided to sneak in there, did you? Okay, that's fair. I understand that. I can appreciate that. I just want to note that that's where my little cave system was. Yeah, I do like the AIoT. That's pretty nice. All right, I'm going to do some mining. Uh, all I'm going to do is kind of try to get down towards bedrock. So, like, this is how Dyer starts every pack, right? Head towards bedrock, at least have some kind of semblance of a way to go mining for resources. Um... And then we'll come back next episode and continue to explore this shenanigans pack. Does that sound cool? So far, definitely different, definitely interesting, and I hope you guys are as excited as I am to check this pack out, because I am actually really enjoying it so far. I think it's it's pretty spiffy. Right? So we know where I am, right, in relation to stuff and things, right? So I'm just going to keep heading this way. All right, Double 20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, welcome to the new series. Definitely looking forward to it. Uh, checking everything out. For now, take it easy.